Now we look at some car phrases. We're going to look at um, four types of car phrases, which are really two types of two car phrases. So first up, we're going to look at your straightforward car phrase. We're going to do these both, uh, both feet at the same time, but obviously they can't be done at one, uh, one single leg. If you're doing a single leg, the, the same principles still stand. So uh, you're going to go up from planting your feet nice to the ground. You're going to go up onto your big toes. You're going to make sure you're actually up onto that big toe. You're not going to go out to the side, not dripping in or anything like that. If you're doing these single legs, you can. You might want to use a small bit of uh, resistance um, to help uh, stabilize yourself. But again, you're making sure you're going up onto the big toe and you're not going out to the side, moving or anything like that as well. So you can see here, toes nicely grounded. You're coming straight up on the heels and you're not coming um, across or ba losing balance uh, on the big toes just there. So that's your, your straight legs calf raise. We're now going to look at the bent legs calf raise, which is looking more your soleus, so a little bit lower down in the, uh, in the lower limb, the calf area. So it's very similar to the calf raise, however, instead of just going up and down with a straight leg, your knees almost locked out, we're going to soften those knees into a three quarter squat position. We're going to now make sure the knees stay stationary against the hips and the shoulders and torso, and you lift yourself up just using your lower, lower limb. So we're not moving anything else. It's just movement coming from all the way down through here, and that, that hinge is there. The knees are remaining absolutely fixed as you go through the whole thing. Again, principles of stability, we're making sure we're going up onto the big toe. We're not coming out of the sides or like that. We're making sure the movement is all from that, um, the lower, lower limb, and then the, the slides as well. So now we look at the other two types of calf raises. These are eccentric calf raises. Eccentric means that you're putting the muscle under load as it gets longer. So if you think about a, a bicep curl, we'll be putting upwards, but the eccentric part is then putting the weight back down again. So we've got here a couple of books to use as a ledge, but you can use a step, um, the side of uh, pavement or anything really you've just got a slight ledge. You're going to go on top of the ledge and you're going to hang your heels over the edge of the ledge and then you're going to drop down with your with one leg. Let's just say take the right leg down here and then you can lift yourself back up with the other leg. So you're loading on the way down and then the other leg actually do the lift up. So the work for the exercise is on the way down, not on the way up. So you do this first of all with a straight leg and then for the eccentric soleus work, you're going to do the same thing as well as before with bending the three quarter squat position and all the movement comes from the ankle, it doesn't come from the knee or anything like that. So again, loading on the way down, movement coming from the ankle, lifting yourself back up again with the other leg and then going through that again.